In chapter 9.5, we're going to cover everything we did in 9.4 and before. In addition, we're going to compute the test statistic. It's either a t-score or a z-score. And here's how we compute it. And then we have to decide if it's right, left, or two-tailed. And then we're going to get our p-value off of here. They're really similar. They all use norm as dist. This one's got absolute value for the two-tail. This one's one minus. Uh, this is just regular norm dist, and this one down here is two times norm dist. So just be aware of which one you're going to need to use here. All right, this problem here, 20%, 21% of people support stricter gun laws. So it's from previous studies. So this is a statistic that already existed. So this is a regular P, 0.21. Q is 1 minus P equals 1 minus. All right, N, we're going to survey 100 people. All right, alpha, put that down here, 0.05. All right, so that's everything we can get out of here. Uh, this always has to be true here. You're not sampling more than 5%. All right, N times P hat times Q hat. You're just going to multiply these three together. So we can use product. That's one way to multiply. All right, 16.59 round to one decimal. All right, let's do the null and alternative. So it's about a claim of 21%. So we have to look at the alternative, decided they want to say it's decreased. So it's gone down. That's the alternative is that it's decreased. So it's less than 0.21. Uh, 0.21, we have to decide is it average or proportion? This is proportion or percentage, proportion. Now this one, could be equal or greater than or equal. It's gotta be the opposite of what we chose down here. But in this problem, we only have a choice of equal. We can't do greater than or equal to. You can only do greater than. So we're gonna go with equal. And let's submit this. Okay. So the alternative right here, when P being less than 0.21, that's gonna be a left tailed so we're gonna eventually, at the very end, we're gonna use this p-value, the left tail right here. So we'll go ahead and bold that one. All right, after serving 117 people support stricter gun laws. So we're gonna do this computation, 17 over 100. So it did go down. There's a chance that uh, this will prove it. But of course, we have to eventually compute the p-value and compare it to alpha. So it's already promising that our sample already had a smaller proportion. But the question is, is this small enough to convincingly uh, prove that it's gone down? All right, z-value, we have that right here. So we need parentheses, that number we just computed, minus P. So that's the uh, P at minus P divided by square root. Now this P and the Q and the divided by N, those are the P and the Q from the population here. The P times Q divided by N. It's not the new one we just computed. That's not that 0.17. All right, so there's our Z two decimal places, so that's 0 0.98. Let's make sure we get this before we go on. If you get your z-value wrong, there's no way you're gonna get your p-value right because your p-value is computed right off your z-value. All right, p-value. So we're left-tailed, so all we don't need the one minus or the two times. Left-tailed is just norm as dist. Z value we just computed, comma, and true. Almost always going true on all of these. 
So again, oh, why doesn't it say true? True, okay. So there we go. Four decimals, one, six, three, oh. Okay, now make a decision based on alpha is 0 0.5. All right, our p-value is small, but it's not smaller than alpha. Remember, p-value is less than alpha, we reject. If p-value is greater than or equal to alpha, or is greater than, we are gonna to fail to reject. So do not reject. So it was not, our percentage was not low enough to convince us uh, that the percentage has changed. There we go.